Right here, we have an Apple iPad Air 4th generation that will not turn on. The customer tried to replace the screen on this iPad and after replacing the screen, uh, the customer said that the iPad is not charging and now the iPad is dead and will not turn on. And the iPad still have this protective film from the new screen. Testing it with USB-C meter. The iPad taking about 8.6 volt and 2.5 amps. And the iPad still won't turn on. Let's open up the iPad and see if we can fix it. Right now, I am heating up the iPad so I can remove the screen easily and then not breaking the new screen. Here's the iPad and I'm going to let the iPad cool down a little bit and then start working on it. Checking under the trauma camera, I can see there's a heat spot right here on the board of the iPad. Let's take apart the iPad and inspect the logic board of this iPad. Here is the iPad logic board and let's do a quick visual inspection of this board. When I looked up the thermal camera, um, the heat is coming from around this area. I'm going to do a quick visual inspection around this area right here. Connection is good and I don't see any sign of liquid damage or corrosion. Let's flip the other side. Because something right here. Hmm. Alright. I see something right here. This port right here seems a little bit crooked and deformed. See this one right here compared to the other two right here and right here. Just like a scratch right here. Let's see. This one seems okay. Yeah, this connection right here is bad. This is the battery connection. Um, I'm gonna try to replace this connection and see if that will fix the problem. There you go. The old battery port is out and I see something here. It seems like the old battery port is cracked. Do you see the line right here? And also the line right here. See this one? The old battery port is cracked. Let's clean up the board and solder the new battery port. Alright, let's install this new battery port or battery connection. Alright, the new 
battery connection is soldered and before I clean it up let's test the connection make sure everything is good I'm using my multimeter right here yep and this one here Right, the connection is good and now let's clean up the board once again the board is cleaned the solder looks good and shiny and now let's reassemble the iPad Alright, the iPad is assembled and now before I close and glue the screen together, let's test the iPad. Haha! -ha. See the Apple logo? All right. <laughs> there you go. And look at this. The iPad. The iPad is charging. It is at 16% now and let's give it another 5 to 10 minutes and see if the battery percentage is going to be increasing or not. It has been about 10 minutes and let's see. The iPad is now at 30%. Now it's 31. <laughs> Alright, so the iPad is turned on and the iPad is charging. Alright, I'm going to glue the screen with double-sided tape. And I'm going to do one final test before giving it back to the customer. I left the iPad clamped and charged overnight and now let's unclamp the iPad and do the final test. Alright, the iPad is fully charged, the camera works, and the front facing camera also works. The internet and the sound works. Volume button works, and the iPad is fixed and ready for the customer to pick up.